takeoff, he been wanted to leave. But the only reason why they didn't because Quavo, he wanted to stay because it was Jazz Prince's, his homeboy, birthday party, man. So he didn't want to just pop up and leave like that knowing they rode in the car with Jazz Prince. But again, that right there just shows, man. What is J. Prince Jr. really doing out here? See, folks trying to tell y'all, word around ATL is that J. Prince Jr. got that boy Lil Cam Fifth stashed off somewhere. And a lot of people not agreeing with that activity, including Takeoff Brother, YFN Lingo. You can also throw Offset in there. Y'all know how Offset feel about this whole situation. You understand? Like he really want to press the issue. Knowing what happened to Takeoff, and J. Prince Jr. got the guy Lil' Cam Fifth tucked off somewhere. It's just not sitting right, man. And the reason why, because we see him. Hey, man, he ain't been locked up yet behind this whole situation. So what's really going on out there? And at the same time, while they was trying to blame Migo Benz for Takeoff's untimely demise. Come on, man. That should tell y'all something right there. Especially now that the folks seeing the footage, what they really got to say. Because a lot of folks feel if you cough up Lil' Cam Fifth, Turn over Lil' Cam Fifth. It'll hopefully resolve this whole situation, man. Hopefully, but who knows? I don't really think so. Because again, it didn't have to happen. And while they was trying to blame Migo Benz, come on, man, he was just doing his job. He was only reacting based off what he's seeing Lil' Cam Fifth doing. Once he seen him up the blicky, he tried to quickly react. But yeah, man, we know how the rest of that story goes, man. So J. Prince Jr., Lil' Cam, he may be a guy. In order to make things right, you got to do what's right. Because these folks' family, they want justice. And I'm not just speaking on takeoff. You can also include chicago owned Duke the Jewel in that situation as well, man. Because what happened to these two cats? Come on, man. What's really going on? And then especially knowing how people try to blame Boosie for Duke's situation. Just like they tried to blame Migo Benz for takeoff situation, man. The folks be knowing... Who be pushing these narratives. And they not with it man. Especially when we seeing what's going on. That even his pops. He got to apologize for the movements of his sons. Mainly the junior. And again it's just a messed up situation man. And that's real. What happened with Duke. What happened with Takeoff. Two cool cats. You know what I'm saying. So again both of their families. They want justice man. They want the person behind this. Behind those bars. And I don't think a lot of people understand the magnitude of that. Because if they did, like Boosie told J. Prince Jr., you should have been coughed up Lil' Cam Fifth, man, to relieve all of us, man. And that's real talk. I agree with that. You don't want one person around you that's constantly bringing undue heat to you and your guys, your family, your whole movement, man. Don't nobody want that. I don't care if you grew up with the cat. You got to say, hey, man, we cool, but from a distance. Because there's other people I support. I don't want to put them in messed up situations because people know that you're around me. You know what I'm saying? And that's real, man. Especially if you want to become successful and create resources. Especially if you want to create resources, you have to socialize with other people, man. And again, based on those around you, they could limit your progress. You understand? So again, hey, this whole video is based on YFN Lingo, Takeoff Brother. He spot J. Prince Jr. out in ATL. And I told y'all, J. Prince Jr., he already went on social media letting the people know that, yeah, he'll be in ATL. So, J. Prince Jr., you going on social media saying you're going to be pulling up in ATL. What you trying to prove, G? Enough was already done. A lot of folks think you should just lay low for a minute. And it's also word that YFN Lingo, he hit up Quavo and Offset to let him know that, hey, I just seen J. Prince Jr. and his Mob Ties affiliates, man. Yeah, they was out here at a spot that was dealing with Lil Baby. And Drake did a walkthrough, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all know Drake and Lil Baby, they tough. And also with that, J. Prince Jr. and his brother Jazz, they cool with Drake. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting y'all know the reasons why J. Prince Jr. was on social media state that he had been ATL. So a lot of people won't feel like, oh man, he's just coming out here just to see who's going to test him. No, man, from my point of view, I don't think that's the case, but who knows? Hey man, I'm here to let y'all know just like everybody else. Don't nobody want no back and forth between these two sides. 
because as I stated before, enough was already done. You understand? The main point is here, when are we going to actually show some type of genuine unity here to where we really got each other back to make sure that this doesn't happen again? That the guys that want to hang out for a minute, that they make it back home to their family. That's supposed to be the main objective. When you got guys in the building, they shooting dice, dudes get to losing their money, acting funny. This is what you usually get. But still, a lot of people was thrown off the fact that this happened to take off. So yes, YFM Lingo, take off brother, he got the right to want to question J Prince Jr. But yeah, man, as I always say, whatever we doing right now, the youth is going to pick up.